Tiffany. <sighs> we need to talk. Yeah, I figured. You're hurt. It's nothing. I saw you take much worse. Joker was going to cut Waller ear to ear. I had to create a distraction. It was certainly distracting. My confession. It took you by surprise, didn't it? I just couldn't keep it in anymore. You know I don't condone killing. Not even scum like Riddler. I've been dreading this moment. Especially since I learned who you are under that mask. I was afraid of what might happen if you found out. I guess I was hoping you never would. Why didn't you talk to me sooner? I... I wanted to work with you, to be part of your mission. But you kept this from me. A murder? I know. I'm sorry. I knew this would ruin everything. You were right. Riddler tore my family apart, Bruce. My mother hasn't left the house since the funeral. And Luke? He just lashes out. My father's death broke them. It broke all of us. I won't ask for forgiveness. But I hope you can understand why I had to do it. I just felt so powerless. Like my life was crumbling around me. I had to do something to take back control. Please tell me you get that. Revenge is an impulse, one to be checked. I can't condone it. But I do understand it. Thank you. That means a lot. I couldn't bear it if you despised me. So, where do we go from here? I suppose this puts me on your most wanted list. Rather than us working together? If you want to fill your father's shoes, you need to learn right from wrong. You need someone to teach you. you you're giving me a second chance? Think of it more as a sentence. You'll have to work hard for your redemption. I promise I won't let you down. Then let's get started. I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. You just need rest, Alfred. Why don't you take a long vacation? Like we talked about. Some place in the sun, and on the other side of the world from Gotham. I rather think this vacation will be permanent. But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. So what, you're just gonna walk away? I thought you said you weren't a coward. You know this isn't easy for me. Easier than continuing to fight, apparently. Our mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore, at least not to me. Now everything has become so gray. <laughs> gray? Talk to me, Alfred. We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. 
We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Someone clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. If I recall, you were on board with that plan. Bain had just dropped a wall on your head. It clouded my judgment. If I knew then what I know now, I'd never have let you go through with it. You empowered John Doe, kept him close when you should have put him away, inspired him to become something far more dangerous than he ever was. What's your point? Sometimes, it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. I'm not blind to the damage I cause, nor am I to the chaos that swirls in Gotham. But I have to believe the good outweighs the bad. I thought you did too. Not anymore. Anyone who comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. I foolishly thought bringing her in might make things better. As if her enthusiasm might remind us how things were in the beginning. We put her in danger on her first day, dodging machine guns at a crime scene. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. That's a price I'm willing to pay. In war, there are always casualties. But it doesn't mean you give up the fight. I've served in my share of wars, Bruce. More even than you. There are some fights you cannot win. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. <laughs> well, that's great news, Al. They stopped the minute I made the decision to go. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them. Some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. The tremors, the fainting spells, all of it. Do you really think I'm that bad? <sighs> no, no, I'm sorry, Bruce. That's not what I meant at all. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Just like you, not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Okay, maybe I am more like my father than I want to admit, but our paths are different. Can't you see? The paths may diverge, but they end in the same place. Face down in an alley, shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you, too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I've been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. You did the best you could, Al. In a single night, the family was shattered, and you were left to pick up the pieces. I may have picked them up, but I did a poor job sticking them back together. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport. You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. You're right, Al. 
It's who I am. I will always be Batman. And that will never change. I know. Rubbish goes out on Tuesday, and there's lasagna in the freezer. I'm sure you'll manage. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. Some safety is slipping out from under me, and I can't stand it! I weighed my options, and what can I say? I don't like to lose. I won't let you down. Visitor for John Doe. 